Harpies are here. Return your opponent's monsters with Cyber Slash Harpy Lady. Let's do this. It's time to do 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 Let's start with three new main harpies which we got from the main box. Chandler can discard a harpy card, any harpy monster or harpy's feather rest to special summon any harpy which means you can make Draco Sack or Cyber Slash Harpy Lady. Perfumer search for Elegant Egotist or Feather Rest. You can add both if you already control a Cyber Slash Harpy. And finally a harpist search for the other two during the end phase if it's sent there this turn. Also it can return one of your other harpies and your opponent's monster to the hand, though this isn't being used at all. Main thing you want to do with Harpist is discarding it with the effect of Channeler so you can get its effect as soon as possible. Other than Channeler, we use Elegant Egotist to special summon Harpy Ladies, which can also be searched with Historic Sign. Unfortunately, it only special summons Harpy Ladies specifically, so your only option is the OG Harpies. Harpy Lady 1 gives a little boost to your Harpies and normal Harpies. RP is just to use with the effect of Diagusto Emerald, I'll talk about this later. By the way, Hysteric Sign has another effect which is Perb, which can search for 3 different Harpy cards though it needs to be sent to the grave from your hand or from your field. So you can use Lightning Vortex to get this benefit. Lightning Vortex, discard a card, destroy all face-up monsters your opponent controls. Last but not least, Harpy's Feather Rest recycles your 3 Harpies from your grave, also you get to draw a card or 2 if Cyber Slash Harpy is on the field. By the way, all the Harpies are traded as Harpy Lady while on the field or in the grave, so you can shuffle anything you want from the grave. Let's talk about the extra deck. First, our boss monster, Cyber Slash Harpy Lady. Perfect thing is that you can trade one of your Harpies as a tuner while synchro summoning, so you don't even need a tuner. Whenever you or your opponent activates a spell or trap, you get to return a monster your opponent controls back to their hand, which is great. Though it's only once per turn and it's a hard once per turn, so even if you have two Cyber Slash you can't activate the effect again. By the way, this effect is only activatable right after the spell or trap activation, so you might get chain blocked. And in mirror match, if you activate the spell or trap, your opponent's cyber slash RP gets to activate its effect, so you can't activate yours. Kachikochi attacks two times. Game Knight Pearl is just 2600 attack, and Daigusto Emerald is another recycler alongside Fed Rest. Also can summon the OG Harpy from your grave. I don't have many rank 4 options to play. So as an example, Malevolent Sin, or if you have Utopia or any other rank for Xyz that you want to play, you can change the extra deck, or it's just Cyber Slash Harpy Lady. That being said, if you're not gonna play Diagusto Emerald, just take out the OG Harpy and put another copy of Harpy Lady 1, and Dracosac, detach a material, summon two tokens, you can tribute one of those tokens or discard itself to target a card on the field, destroy it, this card will not be able to attack for the rest of the turn. By the way, if you have Swallow's Nest, it will be good in the stack. About the skill, unfortunately we can't use Harpy's Hunting Ground, cause it becomes a useless skill if you go first, or if your opponent doesn't have a back row, you just destroy your own field spell. If you summon a Harpy, so your opponents can play around it. I'm using the Tide at Binds for a little boost, but I do recommend using Bastion's Quick as Wind skill, especially if you have Cosmic Cyclone. You can splash it to your deck, so that you can use it as removal and easily trigger your skill. And that's it. As always, thanks for watching and enjoy the gameplay. <laughs>